Curly Sue and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. But if you've been here before, welcome again because I love to see you watching my videos. Not that I can see you, but I know that you're watching by the view count. I love when you watch my videos and while you're here, please hit the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will see more videos just like this one. And it's really helpful to me because they're free. Tons of you are watching the video, but not all of you are subscribing. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll tell you why. It really helps me to make more videos like this one, which are free for you. Also, subscribing is free. Just hit the red button. That's it. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to be making chickpea tofu. Now, who knew you could make tofu from chickpeas? Every day is a school day. So today we're going to use chickpeas to make tofu and it is actually way easier than I thought it would be and maybe way easier than you think it will be. So let's get on with making chickpea tofu. So the ingredients for this is not really an extensive list is chickpeas and water that's it yeah i was quite surprised myself chickpeas and water so for the ingredients you're going to need 200 grams of dry chickpeas now i know you can get chickpeas in the tin can you use chickpeas in the tin to make this i have no idea i've never tried it i've just used the dried chickpeas so that's all i can tell you um, which is about 200 grams is about one cup of chickpeas, dry chickpeas, and then you're going to get need four to 500 grams of sorry, four to 500 milliliters of water. So that's one and a half to two cups. So you can adjust it to make different tofu textures depending on how you want it softer or firmer. Now, for this, you're going to need this to soak the chickpeas in water for at least four hours or ideally overnight. Um, I usually do them overnight because it's better, easier to just kind of before I go to bed, throw the chickpeas in water, go to bed in the morning, then make the chickpea tofu. Once you've done that, rinse and drain, and after soaking, the chickpeas should expand to three times the size. So in a blender or food processor, blend the chickpeas with water. So use 400 mils of water for firm tofu and 500 for a softer texture. So if you want a softer texture, you use more water. And if you want a firmer texture, you use less water. Then use a cheesecloth or strainer to separate the liquid part from the chickpea pulp. So you can use cheesecloth or a muslin cloth or a strainer to separate the two. Then you're going to need to heat the chickpea liquid on the stove on a medium heat and mix vigorously until it's thickened. The more you cook the liquid, the thicker the mixture will be and the firmer the final result will be. Pour the mixture into a container and chill it in the fridge until the shape resembles the tofu shape. And guess what? That is it. There's actually nothing more to it. It's just those steps. It's really quick and easy. And then you can use the tofu. You can make scrambled tofu. You can do a glazed tofu. I'm going to make that um, video for you in the future. A glazed tofu. It's really nice. Um, you can use tofu for all sorts of things. You can make cheesecake and all kinds of different things with tofu. But it's also good to make the tofu yourself because when you make it yourself, then you know exactly what's in it. That's it. Have you made tofu before? If you have, please comment in the comment section below. What did you use to make it? How did it go for you? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram. And if you do, post a picture of your creation and tag me. I love, love, love to see your creations and I'll repost it in my stories for you. If you want to, okay, but just let me know. That would be great. So all that leaves me to do now is say, eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.